Austria's political landscape has been dramatically redrawn with the Freedom Party's recent victory. This landmark win marks the first time a far-right party has claimed victory in a national election since Wu Tu. The results signal a significant shift in Austrian politics. The FPO's success has sent shockwaves throughout Europe. The Austrian election results painted a clear picture of the public's desire for a new direction. The FPO secured a decisive victory garnering approximately 42% of the vote. This resounding win demonstrated a significant surge in support for the far-right party, surpassing its previous electoral performances. The outcome signalled a clear rejection of the status quo and a yearning for change. In contrast, the centre-left Social Democratic Party and the centre-right Austrian People's Party, which have traditionally dominated Austrian politics, suffered significant losses. The SPO, once a dominant force, secured only 25% of the vote, while the OVP trailed behind with 20%. These results reflect a growing disillusionment with the traditional parties and their handling of pressing issues. The remaining votes were distributed among smaller parties, including the Greens and the Liberal Neos. However, none of these parties managed to secure enough support to pose a significant challenge to the FPO's dominance. The election results underscored the fragmentation of the Austrian political landscape and the rise of new political forces. The FPO's victory can be attributed in part to its effective campaign strategy, which capitalized on public anxieties about immigration, the economy, and cultural change. The party's message of national renewal and stricter border controls resonated with voters seeking a break from the past. The results highlight the growing polarization of Austrian society and the challenges of building consensus in a fragmented political landscape. At the helm of the FPO's historic victory stands Herbert Kickel, a seasoned politician with a reputation for his hardline stance on immigration and national identity. Kickel, who served as Interior Minister in a previous coalition government, has been instrumental in shaping the party's ideological direction and electoral strategy. His charisma and ability to connect with voters dissatisfied with the status quo have been crucial to the FPO's success. Kickel's vision for Austria centers on a return to traditional values, stricter immigration controls, and a more assertive foreign policy. He has been a vocal critic of multiculturalism and globalization, arguing that they have eroded Austria's national identity and cultural cohesion. His rhetoric resonates with voters who feel left behind by rapid social and economic changes. Kickel's political journey has been marked by both controversy and success. He has been criticised for his inflammatory rhetoric and his alleged links to far-right extremist groups. However, he has consistently denied these allegations and has positioned himself as a defender of Austrian values and interests. As the leader of the FPO, Kickel now faces the challenge of translating his electoral victory into concrete policy changes. He has vowed to prioritise issues such as immigration control, economic reform and strengthening national security. His success in implementing his agenda will depend on his ability to navigate the complexities of Austrian politics and build alliances. A Herbert Kickel's political platform has sparked considerable controversy both within Austria and across Europe. His hardline stance on immigration in particular has drawn criticism from human rights groups, opposition parties and international organisations. Kickel has called for stricter border controls, a reduction in asylum seekers and a tougher stance against illegal immigration. He argues that mass immigration poses a threat to Austria's cultural identity, social cohesion and national security. He has called for a return to traditional values and a rejection of multiculturalism, which he believes has failed to integrate newcomers into Austrian society. His rhetoric has resonated with voters concerned about the impact of immigration on their communities. Kickel's critics argue that his policies are discriminatory, inhumane, and contrary to Austria's international obligations. They accuse him of exploiting public anxieties about immigration for political gain and of fueling xenophobia and intolerance. The debate over immigration is likely to remain a central issue in Austrian politics as Kickel seeks to implement his agenda. Beyond immigration, Kickel has also taken controversial positions on issues such as Islam, European integration and law and order. He has called for a ban on face veils in public, stricter surveillance measures and a tougher stance against crime. His critics argue that his policies erode civil liberties and target minority groups.